Hi. Have you ever came across a person with a disability and you thought to yourself, God, I wish I could help him? So that's what happened to me. Since I was a kid, I remember myself staring at people walking and trying to imagine what kind of problem do they have and if I can help them. So I started my journey studying medicine in Florence, Italy, and after a few years I decided to come back to Israel, study biology and meet my beautiful wife. Following my passion, my knowledge and my desire to create, four years ago, together with a friend of mine, a boxer and a sport fanatic, we've developed a wearable resistant unit, just like a belt, my wife, that allows you to add resistance to almost every fitness routine that you make, increasing dramatically your intensity of the workout. Basketball, baseball, tennis, and even dancing with our system bring so much fun to the user with the ability to adjust the range of resistance and improve his accuracy and muscle memory. In 2012, at Microsoft Think Next uh, tech conference, we demonstrated our system as an accessory for console game, Xbox Wii, giving you the dynamic feedback from the game. Think about it. How awesome can it be if you can really feel the impact of boxing your virtual friend? But still, something was missing at a more basic level. And only after injuring my knee, three, four months of rehabilitation, lots of painkillers, and mainly I was disabled myself for a while, I became like the one I used to stare at. So I decided to try my system in the same physiotherapy clinic where I was treated for my knee. And it was amazing. Doing your physiotherapy session with a mobile, lightweight resistance belt, giving you so many opportunities. So I knocked on doors of hospital physiotherapy clinics and like every other entrepreneur, friends and family, till I understood that neurological patients may benefit much more working with the system. Having a neurological disorder, you usually don't know exactly when, where, and even how you're going to put your legs while walking. And that's a really common reason for injuries among the senior population. Please take a look at this. The Fokuda stepping test. It's the most basic test to examine balance. The resistance belt is connected to a feet, forcing her to use power. Pay attention to how, how instantly it affects the patient. So I met an amazing guy who suffered from multiple sclerosis, MS, with a major drop foot problem. His concern that his co-workers always know exactly when he arrives and when he leaves the office due to his drop foot noise that he makes. So I met him twice a week, every time just 20 minutes of climbing the stairs and walking the hallway with the resistance belt. And amazingly, his body remembered the feeling of walking with the resistance. And now, He's having fun catching his co-workers at their office, picking their nose. I had the opportunity, together with a geriatric hospital in Israel, we've conducted a pilot using a special made virtual reality games, and thanks to the Kinect camera, we're able to measure and monitor the patient's movement, accuracy, speed, and even waste of energy. And we saw that unlike our obvious conception, that the more resistance you had, the harder you work, we discovered that for some people, our unique mechanism can make you even spend 50% less of energy just by improving your accuracy. And for this beautiful lady who suffers from Parkinson's disease, it can change her life between repeated falls and weakness to longer walks full of confidence. But then I saw how children suffering from cerebral palsy doing their physiotherapy using the Adeli suit that basically designed for astronauts to counter the effect of long-term weightlessness on the body. So I had to compare it to my system. Please meet Yuval, an exceptional genius, seven years old, very cute kid, that's born with a CP and usually tend to, to falls while walking. This is his regular walk. And for the first time of his life, Yuval is walking with my system, the resistance belt connected to his problematic foot. Pay attention how instantly it affects him and try to imagine how his quality of life can change.
Thank you very much. Thank you.